have you ever crocheted like at your job? Like, I mean, like for eight hours straight. I mean, you're gonna take breaks and stuff like you would in a normal job, but have you ever done that? Well, I haven't either, but I thought it would be a good challenge, especially as I'm getting ready to do a market on Saturday. So spend the day with me as I crochet like it's my job. It is Sunday night right now and tomorrow, Monday, I am going to crochet from 8.30 to 5.30, um, which is what I used to work before I became a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I worked in human resources. As a full-time job, you have to clock in at a certain time. You get to take two 15-minute breaks, a half hour to 45 to an hour lunch. I don't know, it just depends. I think I usually got an hour lunch. Um, and then, you know, you were done at 8.30. So that was the shift that I had when I worked my corporate job. And so that's the shift that I'm gonna give myself and I'm gonna crochet for eight hours straight and see how it goes. Tonight, I'm preparing and I'm going to get a list together, get my supplies ready so that for eight hours tomorrow, I can do nothing but crochet. No extra little things. It's literally, I'm going to treat it as if it was my job. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get my, my daughter off to school, I'm gonna eat breakfast, I'm going to you know, get myself ready, and I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna do all the things, and I'm gonna clock in at 8.30 tomorrow morning. I'm going to take two 15 minute breaks, which I'll probably do little update videos um, during my breaks, and I'm gonna have it set up so I'm gonna do some video recording of me crocheting our lunch, and I'm gonna take that when my daughter comes home, and then I'll take an afternoon 15 minute break. It's gonna be, 8.30 to 5.30 crochet, nothing but crochet. I'm going to tonight write down a list of the things that I wanna crochet. I wanna make a plan because the thing is, is when you you know have a job, you have a plan of what you're going to be doing for your job. So I need to plan that ahead of time so I don't waste time. And I'll guesstimate how long each thing is gonna take. And, you know, I, I won't spend time like looking for yarn or whatever. I'm gonna just crochet and see how many projects I can complete in an eight hour shift. So I'll see you when I clock in. I'll turn this back on and I'll give a little update. I'll be sharing at the end of the video, everything that I crochet, everything that I got done in an eight hour shift. So let's get into the video. So I don't normally get ready in the morning, but because I'm doing this crochet all day challenge, I have to pretend like I'm actually going to a job. So I got up, I got my workout done. I am having some coffee and I am going to go ahead and get ready like I was going to be going to a job. So. Okay, so I did my makeup. I am not a makeup guru, so I just put some on. Um, and so don't expect me to share like what I use and all that because this is not a makeup channel. There's a lot of other ones out there that are gonna be way better at this stuff than me. So just a fair warning. And I'm, it's now 7.21. So for now, the hair is going back up because you know, I'm going back, I'm going into the kitchen, so gotta keep the hair up when you're in the kitchen, right? Scrunchy from the Scrunchy Sisters, my daughters. Okay, my daughter just left for school, I got her lunch, got her water, everything. 
Um, I've been working on cleaning the kitchen a little bit because it's just nasty dirty and I wanted to at least have somewhat of a clean kitchen as I start my work day. Um, so I'm just gonna finish up, start the dishwasher, and then run and go see if I can just do something with my hair, although it's probably gonna end up in a bun because I'm gonna be crocheting all day and I kinda don't want hair to get into the plushies and stuff, so I don't think we're gonna be doing much to my hair. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm just going to, my hair is still wet, so I'm going to just put a few curls in it at the end so it's not frizzy, um, but then it's probably gonna go up because I don't have time for this. It's now, 7.57, I have to be at work at my job to crochet all day in half an hour. And I still need to get something to eat. I wanted to at least have um, my hair somewhat done so that when I go to record, when I get off work, then <laughs> My hair will be somewhat done, so it'll take less time to get ready. But for now, it's going in a bun. It's, I'm just going to pull it back. And then I usually have these big tails right here. What I like to do get rid of them as I take a tiny little thing and I bring the ends around this only works if you have long hair bring the ends around put the little hair tie in right here like so twist it and then put this little guy there so you can kind of still see the scrunchie but the tails are gone it's 8.04 and now i'm gonna go um get some breakfast oh so here is a sneak peek at the yarn i'm gonna be using today for my eight hours of crocheting um this is what i have planned right now um we'll see how much i get done this box right here is my work in progress box. So I am not going to be finishing projects. This is going to be just projects that I start and finish in eight hours because there's a lot of stuff in here and I'm going to save this for my work in progress Wednesday, I believe so. Okay, I am here. It is Monday. I am ready to clock in for my day of crochet work where I'm gonna be crocheting for eight hours. Again, this is gonna be like an eight hour shift like I would normally do if I was working an eight to five or nine to five job. My shift when I worked in corporate America was 8.30 to 5.30. So that's what I've chosen for this challenge. Right now it's 8.26. So in four minutes I need to be at work and crocheting. So I'm gonna just give you a quick little uh, snippet of my setup. And so I have my workspace, I have my drinks. Um, this is where I'm gonna keep track of my time. Um, and I'll have my patterns on there. And then I'm not sure why I need the laptop, but just in case, and then I got my yarn over there. Um, this is gonna be my first project. So I got my hook. This is the hook I use for that type of yarn. It just seems to work good for me. And then I got stuff. My safety eyes are over there, so I'll be able to get up and get those. But yeah, so here we go. All right, we are on the clock. And of course, the pattern I'm going to use for my first one is using this green yarn. And I don't have it. With... Ah! Not starting off really good here because I didn't have this pattern up. I was going to... It's a free pattern on Instagram, so I was going to get ready. I'm going to be using for this yarn or for this project, yeah, agave. Okay, so <laughs> it is now 8.34 and I'm just now getting started because I did not download the pattern 
that I needed for this project. So we are going to get started finally with project number one. And here we go. So I will check back in a little bit and see how long it takes me to do this first project. These eyes were giving me a pain. They're not, I can't get these to freaking get on there. Ugh. Okay, I think we're good. Finally. All right, and now it is, it's been 20 minutes and I'm not doing good. <laughs> it's not starting off so strong, but I'm hoping this guy takes about 45 minutes, so stay tuned. Okay, it's, see the clock right there, it's about 9.30, finished one guy. This pattern is Natalie's Crochet Creation, something like that, I'll link it. Um, but yeah, I was a little rusty um, in using this yarn, because I haven't used this yarn in a while, so this one took me a little bit longer, and I remembered that I had changed the feet on the pattern a little bit, um, so I had, it took me a little longer to try and figure out what I was doing with this guy. So I am going to make one more of these and see if I can get it done um, faster than 57 minutes and 32 seconds. Okay, finished another one. We're gonna lap that and stop it. All right, so an hour and 39 minutes. So this one took significantly less time. So I've got two of them done so far. And now we'll move on to the next thing. I am on my 15 minute break. It's a little bit early, it's like 10, 15, 10, 14. So I'll get back to work at 10, 30-ish. Um, but I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, so far, I have finished two of these little guys. So in just under two hours, I've made two. They take generally about 45 minutes. The first one took me a while, a little bit longer, just because I hadn't made one in a long time. And I did something a little different to the feet. So it took me a little bit to figure out what I was doing, but I did make two of these. These are great sellers um, at markets, and so I wanted to have a couple from our market on Friday or Saturday. So that's that. My next project is a custom order uh, that I need to get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that for the next couple of hours. Um, it is a pretty involved plushie that I have not made before. So I am thinking it's gonna take two to three hours, but I guess we will see. Um, the yarn I'm using is Sweet Snuggles Light. So I have a gray, a light purple, and a dark purple. And I think you'll just have to stay tuned to see what I make. So with that, I'm gonna go take a break and stretch my back and stretch out because sitting sitting for two hours crocheting is a lot. Right now we're about 30 minutes in and I've got two of these made. I have to make two more. Okay, I'm on a 15, my last 15 minute break of this eight hours of crocheting like it's my job. Okay. It, I, I have not gotten as much done as I would have wanted. I don't do custom orders all that much. And I rarely do custom orders on a pattern I've never crocheted before. I did this time, because the pattern is really cute. But I had, I misjudged how long it was gonna take. I uh, thought it would be like three hours to do. And turns out we're going on four, almost four hours and show you because I'm just on a 15 minute break. I have probably about maybe a half a more hour on it, but I'm just gonna show you, ready. 
I mean, look at, look at him. It's not focusing, but it's got such a long tail. I'm, this is where I'm at. <laughs> I have this much more of the spike and then some wings that look like this, but they're gonna be gray. And this little, this little guy's taken a long time. So I haven't gotten a ton accomplished for market prep, so yeah. But I did need to get this custom order done, so I take it as a win. And we're gonna keep going. Let's see, my break. I have 10 more minutes of my break, so I'm gonna go. You know, something to drink, a snack, and get back at it. Because if I finish this in 30 minutes, that'll give me an hour maybe to get at least one more thing maybe made. Okay, it's 5.30, let's see. It's gonna be backwards, but you can see. 5.30, it's quitting time. I crocheted for eight hours. The crochet for eight hours challenge is over. And I've had some time to kind of regroup and wanted to just get this recorded and done so that I can move on. For eight hours-ish, um, crocheted like it was my job from 8.30 a.m. this morning until 5.30 p.m and I got four crochet projects complete. So I wanted to sort of just do a recap, just a quick recap about how it went and how much like money I would make and how much per hour that would be if crochet was my job. So let's just start with the first two things that I made. You saw them earlier in the video and it was these two alligators. And I sell these for uh, 16, well that would be $32. This custom order, if I was selling this at a market, I would sell it for $75. So then we'll add seven. And then I did finish one turtle, which is 14. And I did have this one almost done. It's literally like 10 minutes away from being done and I'm sure there was 10 minutes of wasted time um, at some point during the workday. So I'm gonna add another 14, $135. So if you divide that by eight hours of work, $16.88. So I wanted to do this challenge just for fun I honestly thought I would get more done, but this guy gave up a lot of time. Now, these little guys take about 35 minutes. So if I would have made these in eight hours and just made these guys for eight hours, that might have been a better use of my time. Let me do the math on that. I made 12 turtles. And if I made 12 turtles, then they would have been times 14 each, which would have been 168. So, turtles would have been a better use of my time. So this was about 42 minutes. So these are about similar. So it was to charge, let's just say $20 an hour for this, which I'm not going to do. Um, $20 an hour, then it would have been, it took me four and a half hours, $90. Would have been $90 for this. And I know for me at my markets, this would not sell for $90. Like no one would spend $90 for this. I do customs because I want to, not because they're big money makers for me, because they do take a lot more time. More people are gonna be apt to buy a smaller plushie for an under 20 or an under $15 um, item 
than things that cost more. So it is more a value, more valuable use of my time to make turtles. So maybe for my next video that I do one of these, maybe I concentrate on just doing little mini makes and see how many I can get done. That might be a better idea. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.